Okay, so quick tutorial on how to build a bridge to lock up your fort. This is obviously our entrance here. We've made a little channel dug down. It's not necessary, but I like to do it. And we go to build hotkey B, construction hotkey N, and bridge. We want to select the material after placement because we want it to be made out of our blocks that we've made. Uh, we also want to select our orientation. So if you're if you're if you want it drawing from right to left as we do, we want it to come from like go up this way and block off this wall here. We want to have that one selected. If you want it to go the other way, you want that one selected. If you want it to go from bottom and block the top, that one selected, and from top block the bottom, this one selected. It'll make a lot more sense once we have finished it. So we're going to click and drag and click and it'll bring up what we want to make it out of I'm gonna choose jet blocks because I'm edgy I like my bridges dark <laughs> okay so we need to wait for that to get built okay oh wow so it no longer needs requires a stonework or a mason as it was called just construction so just drag it and do it okay so now we've got our drawbridge and you can actually see Look the little gears that indicate that it's it's a hinge that way. The next thing to do is to build some mechanisms. Now mechanisms are built build uh hockey B, hockey O for workshops. And it's gonna be mechanics workshop, hockey H for that. Um just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna build it here. Well I'm almost certainly gonna move it. Use jet boxes as well again. I'm just gonna wait for one of our our mechanics. It is worth noting. I do okay, I do have someone who is a mechanic. You definitely need mechanics to be um set as one of the one of the uh, labors for this. So we're gonna make some rock mechanisms. Just for now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a bunch of these for now. I'm gonna make sure we make them now. Looks like she's already doing that. And we're also, while we're waiting for those mechanisms to be built, we're also going to need a lever. Lever? Lever? Whatever, whatever it is you say. Alright, come on, let's make with the mechanisms. Can we see what the mechanisms look like? They look like little gears. That's cute. Now, I think we need two or three. We're get, I think we need three of these. I'll, uh, we will find out in a minute. T just double check. I'm pretty sure you need one to build the lever, one to a attached to the lever and one to attach to the, to the bridge so we've got one two what is she making these out of right, so let's uh, I want to do I usually like to put this in my great hall because I'm gonna make this a meeting hall soon I want to make sure that dwarves are near the switch if we need to um, flick it super quick so and by switch, I of course mean leather, leather, not leather, leather or lever, whatever. So uh, hotkey B to bring up the build menu. Hotkey M for machines slash fluids. Hotkey L for lever, leather, whatever. Uh, we are going to select our mechanism to be to make the lever. What does it use now? Construction. Just going to wait for our. Ah, uh, Brownbeard. Brownbeard the construction. So he's built the lever level now. Okay. So you click on that. Go link lever lever. And we need to click a building to link. So now we need to go to our bridge. Click the bridge and go. And that's really it. Wow. Okay. So it looks like that's it's as simple as that. And it does take two mechanisms. That is way more simple than it used to be, for sure. You literally just click on the thing. I'm so used to seeing things in a list, right? So, what your constructor will do, by the looks of it, constructor brown bid, is he'll take a mechanism to the bridge and then take a mechanism to the lever. And it basically links them up. Now, warning. Okay. Uh, this is something that was in the first game I'm not sure if it's in the second game and I don't want to find out 
uh, a thing known as an atom smasher. Anything that's under a bridge when it is dropped down is totally destroyed. Almost anything. I think some creatures are immune to it. Uh, some really big creatures, but almost everything, right? And even items and stuff. Uh, I believe it's the same when they're, if they're on the bridge when it comes up. So I am going to show you it working. I'm going to save first. Okay, uh, <laughs> and I'll show you it in action. I'll also, it'll also give you a good idea of how you actually raise the drawbridge. Come on, come on. Pray to God that no dwarves are on it at the time. I guess it would be good, um, what's the word, a good experiment to see if it's still in there or if it's somehow, they've somehow changed that. So we're going to go to our lever now, which was here. We're going to click on it. I'm going to click pull lever. So now a dwarf is going to come and pull this lever. Oh, they just literally just flicked it. And it will take a couple of ticks for it to come into action. It doesn't look like there's any dwarves in the way, so let's go get. And then... Ooh, oh! Okay. I think it's still destroys the dwarf I think she was just on it it still destroys the dwarf for sure I guess we found out here first folks like and subscribe <laughs> oh shit <laughs>